so when I shut the door so she can't get in here, she can open it. Unless I like put stuff against the door so that it, um, like she can't push it open. But so like whatever, oh, she doesn't get into stuff. Basically today I wanna do my makeup like a full face. Um, I have like um, a gratis box, which is like now in a bag. It's like my first one. I've had a couple little things like here and there, but this is like my first like full box of gratis. So I was like, this would be a really cool video. Totally skipped an intro. Um, let me show you what I have to try out. Um, I did already like prime and prep, or not prime, but I prepped my skin with the Pure Cosmetics um, eye serum. Um, and this is like totally discontinued, but it's the Estee Edit um, by Estee Lauder Beam Team Hydrate and Glow. It's like my favorite moisturizer and it's probably expired, but I can't get another one because they're, it's discontinued. Um, and then I also use the Pure uh, Cosmetics Miracle Mist. So, and then I did my brows because that takes forever, especially when I like conceal them and like do a full on like Instagram brow. Like we don't have time to do that on camera, but I do have some exciting stuff. Um, I might even like break this up into like two videos because I kind of want to do like a lipstick swatch. Um, and I have quite a few, but um, this is my little goodie bag. <laughs> like, I can't believe all of this. Like, and I actually have more coming. Um, I won a couple of contests or whatever um, for like events and stuff, so that's nice. Um, so this is a little scrunchie I got from Anastasia. Cute little touches like that. I got a little badge. Um, I got a Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I am gonna be honest, I'm a little scared to try this because Drunk Elephant is a very good brand, don't get me wrong, but they are very strong. Like their formulas are intense. They definitely deliver what they say, but I have sensitive skin, so I'm a little nervous about that. Uh, so I got a little goodie bag from Beauty Blender. Um, I'm already, I already started using the black one. Um, but they sent me the pink one. Some cleansers in the liquid and the cleanser, the solid form. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I use Dawn dish soap to clean my brushes with. However, I'm gonna use the stuff specifically for it because it's been sent to me. But like, I, I don't buy special soap for my Beauty Blender Dawn dish soap or if you're a Beauty Insider, if you're not, like you should just sign up. It's literally so easy. Um, but you can get samples with your points um, for the Beauty Blender cleanser, which I highly recommend because nobody has money or I feel like it's just, it's just kind of pointless. Like it's soap, like you just need to clean it. It's fine. I also have two other primers, which I'm going to try out today. Um, I have the Opal Essence and the Selfie Shield. So um, excited to put that on my face. And then I have a lot from Givenchy. Oh, this is also a cute little luggage tag. Thank you, Anastasia. I do want to travel this year. So like, yes, this is meant to be. Um, before I get into Givenchy, let me go through the few other products I have from other brands. Um, so I don't know if I'm using this today. I may or may not, because uh, there's also another Norvita palette that I have that I want to play around with. But this is the ABH Norvana collection. Um, and this is the cherry palette. Super, super cute. Like I've already played around with this shade and this shade and I love it. Um, I think it's like, Nor so Norvina is Anastasia's daughter and she came out with like her own line but it's like collab with Anastasia, like whatever. Everything's a sister company. Milk Makeup sent me their brow gel um, in the shade Grind, so thank you for that. And then Smashbox gave me a lipstick in Stepping Out. Super cute. Let's try this on. Ooh. Ooh, I already knew, I already knew I like this shade. But yeah, I just needed a lipstick on. I don't know. So. Givenchy 
sent me their Tint Couture foundation. I'm obsessed with this foundation. Like I started like getting samples and stuff because like I'm there every day. Like it makes sense to get a sample and just try something new and then I get to try more stuff. Um, so I know I already like the foundation. However, you know, so they sent me that. Thank you so much. In the shade Y315. Yep, perfect. That's my shade. And then I have like 10 lipsticks from Gavanji. Like, oh, one more from Dior before I get into that. Um, they sent me this really cute like red um, lip lacquer thing, liquid lip. Um, super excited to try these out. Last but not least, <laughs> I might even just do like a haul video. Like, is this a haul or like, not like a P, okay, so like this isn't technically PR, but I feel like it's similar to a PR unboxing because like, I don't know, it's gratis. Like, <laughs> I work at Sephora, um, if you didn't know. Um, I feel like I've mentioned it in my videos, but if you didn't know, I do work at Sephora. Um, I'm a licensed beauty advisor, and then I'm also a hairstylist, so best of both worlds. Um, but yeah, so they sent me a lot of lipsticks. Thank you. <laughs> like, I was not expecting this many lipsticks whatsoever. Like, I, I know I love them. Like, thank you for listening to me. Like, these are amazing freaking lipsticks. I need to get my makeup done because I actually have to be somewhere. I have to go tr to get training in, um... I have to go to training to like a different Sephora to get certified or whatever. Um, so yeah, let's start with the eyes. Oh, I do also kind of want to play around with one more palette that's also from the Norvina collection. Okay. I also got this in gratis, like, I don't know some odd time ago and this is the Norvina collection the purple palette I'm gonna say pro pigment volume one these palettes are amazing way to go Norvina but of course like you're honestly your daughter like how could you disappoint so like this is gonna be so hard to cover up the mirror but here is the palette this way like I'm not blinding you and yeah so I do want to play around with that. Um, let me. This is the Lorac Diamond Luxe Palette. And I've used it before, but it's super, super cute. Reminds me of the Huda Beauty Remastered Rose Gold, whatever palette um so we're gonna play around with this today yay oh by the way you should totally like subscribe to my channel like duh. gosh i am always like <laughs> knocking stuff over or dropping stuff like if you ever come see me at sephora or the salon you will know like i have butterfingers it's fine i'm accepting it it's who i am Eyeshadow brush, eyeshadow brush. This is my favorite, favorite eyeshadow brush. The Sephora Pro Featherweight Crease. Mm. So I'm gonna go in with Grand. It's just like a really pretty, like muted brown. And then I'm actually gonna take a little bit of Elegance, which was right next to it. And I'm gonna start this on the outer corner. Um, I, this is not so much of a tutorial, so, um, be honest, tutorials are really, really hard. Like, how do you explain what you're doing? Like, you're just like, okay, I'm swirling it on my eye. Like, sorry, I'm not the best teacher yet. Um, plus, I don't know if I really have time for a tutorial. I gotta, like, get going. Also, one little quick tip for doing your makeup. Um, mimic both sides. So like when you do something on the left side, do it on the right side. When you do something on the right side, do it on the left side, okay? I'm telling you, like, that's how you get a symmetrical look.
I will say, like, even though the shades are bright, like, you can get a couple looks out of them as long as you have, like, some neutrals to throw in the mix, like I'm doing. Um, like, the lid shades in this, like, purple, like, Norvina palette is really friendly to use um, for just, like, an all-over lid shade and call it a day. But... Um, I guess I'm just going to deepen the crease. I'm going to play around with some of their um, browns. I'm going to take C5. Also, I love how they're just numbered like that. Like A1, A2, B2, B3. Like for the row and stuff and like column. Like that is so friendly for like YouTube. And like saying, oh, this is the shade I used. Oh my gosh, this is looking so pretty. Oh, I'm also gonna take, um, really quickly before I do this shade, I'm swirling my brush around on my arm to get excess product off, because I wanna go in with C1, which is a white shade. And I'm gonna blend where, um, like basically I would put my highlight for my brow bone. Um, I don't like when color gets all the way up to the brow bone. Like, don't get me wrong, some people like that look. Like, it's definitely a look. I just don't like it on me personally I like a little bit of like space in between there so I take a matte white and this is the only matte white besides the cat but KVD 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 I'm trying to like remember to say this because I get yelled at at work when customers are like it's KVD Kat Von D is not on the brand anymore and I'm like okay I'm sorry like I'm just used to seeing Kat Von D don't hate me yeah, by the way, if you didn't know that, there is no more Kat Von D on the brand. <laughs> the reason why I do this, though, is because when if I just go in with, like, a highlighter, it's not going to um, kind of take away the color that I went too high with. It's still, it's just going to be, like, glitter on top. And, like, I highlight the brow bone because I feel like... You're going to get a little bit of highlight in there. I just want to like clean it up. Now we're going to move on to the face. I need a makeup wipe. I'm actually going to do, I'm going to use both of these because they do different things. Um, so one of them is a serum primer. It's like the opal one. So it's going to really like add glow to the skin. And I love that. And then the other one's a dry oil primer and I have super dry skin. So we're going to use both, especially because I already know I like the foundation. So this is the packaging. I'm going to Squeeze some out onto my finger, like that much. I don't know how I feel about their foundation yet. Um, let me know. Have you tried the Beauty Blender foundation? Like it looks good on some people. Um, and usually when I give a review, I'm not even just thinking about like how it works on myself. I'm thinking about like how it works on my clients like at work and stuff because I do a lot of makeup applications obviously. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of a given that makes sense with what I do and especially being licensed. There's lots of new stuff happening at Sephora this year. Stay tuned. They're making a comeback. They're making a lot of changes. I love it. This is feels so nice on the skin. Actually, I don't know. I think I'm actually just going to use just this primer because I did a really good job prepping my skin with hydration and like I don't want to like overdo it.
that's why i do my eyes first so i'm actually gonna let that dry i was gonna go in with like another coat but like i like this mascara is so terrible i'm sorry wonder wonder beauty w-a-n-d-e-r like your mascara sucks i'm sorry like you just no normally when i don't like something i'm like this just isn't for me you know like maybe it gives more length and not enough volume maybe it's a wet formula or a dry formula but this like literally does nothing like i don't understand how anyone could get use out of this unless you have really long lashes that are just curled and pretty and you just need a little color or something i don't know some people i guess there we go some people do really just like to put color on their lashes and not really make them dramatic so i guess if that's your cup of tea but it literally does absolutely nothing for me and i've tried some mascaras let me tell you I like never wear foundation, but I love this one. So like, if I'm gonna wear a foundation, it's gonna be this NARS. I do like this one by IT. Um, the Bye Bye Foundation's nice. I don't like the other two, like the CC ones, not a fan. Um, oh, my all time favorite foundation is the Cover FX Custom Drop. So we don't like have them at my store now. So, like, we haven't had cover effects in store there for a while. So, like, um, I just don't, like, remember my shade. I could order online, which I might actually soon because I miss that foundation. Like, it is so freaking good. Um, cover effects just has such good products. Like, their setting powder, the perfect setting powder. I use that a lot. I have one of their primers. It's nice. It's not, like, the best, but it's super good. Um, like I could do a full face from cover effects, definitely. Okay, this looks so good. I love it. That's definitely enough. Let's move on to concealer. Yeah, and then I'll highlight after. I'm still gonna do some cream highlighting, but I think I should, I meant to mix this in with my foundation. I'm gonna go in with concealer and then, yeah. I'm not gonna use a lot of concealer. I'm just gonna take a little bit of 3W Medium Warm from the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place. Um, eh, I'm not gonna do that on my forehead. I don't want the extra layer. I know I look crazy. I probably look like so glowy that you're like, girl, chill, chill. I want to glow more than Beyonce. <laughs> now I'm going to take the Pure Cosmetics palette because I love this thing. This palette, like I need another one when I run out of it. I need a new one soon. Like I need, if this ever goes discontinued, I'm buying it out. Like this is the best cream highlighter on the freaking planet. 
I literally like, well, bam! Like, I don't even know why I use the Becca one sometimes. Cause like, I can just go straight in with this and like a little bit goes such a long way with most people. I like to put a lot on. It just looks so like lit from within, glow, shimmer, like J-Lo vibe, um, Beyonce, you know what I'm talking about, like it's just so freaking pretty. I also can get away with using this entire palette and normally I can't for um... So I'm gonna take this like bronzy shade and actually put it on my cheeks. I like to do it now because then I go in with like my powders and it kind of brings it all together. I need to look at myself in the mirror. In the mirror for this. A lot of these minerals um, change when they're exposed to air. Keep that in mind when you're buying stuff. Like, I want to try the um, Smashbox. It's like, what is it called? Their Halo line. Um, they have this powder that you can use as a foundation or a setting powder. And, like, you sift it. Like, it's a pressed mineral powder. And then when you... Um, you like twist the top and it like um, grinds it up so you get it fresh every time like it's never exposed to oxygen until you need it why do my nose pads always itch like i have to be allergic to something i'm putting on my face like it always itches when i do my makeup like powder maybe that's what it is i think it's one of my powders um i'm gonna put a little bit of mascara to mix my lashes together before i set the rest of my face 